Hey everybody, it's Biomagic here, bringing you a Game Boy game made by Sega and Sonic Team. That's right, this is finally Biomagic Presents Let's Play Sonic Advance 2. Now, I held a poll for everyone on who I should play the game first with, and the people have spoken and they want Sonic. The first zone is Leap Forest Zone. Very reminiscent of Emerald Hill Zone from Sonic 2. We start each stage and get this countdown timer followed by a boost of speed. I need to go to the controls. Left to move left, right to move right. Down the crouch, A to jump. Crouch and press A and do a spin dash. You can press A multiple times to rip it up for more speed. Holding up will do this. I'm not exactly sure what you're doing, but it serves no purpose. And some B to do this tumble attack, which is actually an attack and with no bad news. Anyway, on with the game. That was a ramp there. If you press A at the right time, you can actually get a little bit higher of the jump at the sacrifice of the distance. When you're close to an enemy like that, you can press A, blow in the air, and do a attack. Although it's not as game breaking as you might think, since you're going to be close. Alright, this here is a special stage ring. There are seven in each act. Collect all seven and get to the end of the stage in one life. I know you're in the special stage when you're shot in the castle. This blue spring here, jumping on it multiple times in succession will give me more height. Also, when jumping off the spring or a rail or something, you can hit R in a direction to get more distance in that direction. Just like that. Monkey is my favorite. Sonic 2. And of course, you got mixed with the big loops. Very sonic-ish. When you get to maximum speed, you'll get this aftershadow effect. Alright, this here is a gimmick. Or at least that's what they call it in Sonic Rush. You just spin around and then when you hit A, you can fly off in that direction. And I messed with it. Oh, no big deal. Because of this! Aha! Yeah, pressing R to get more distance is very helpful. You get to a lot of places that you probably wouldn't have otherwise been able to get to. Missing the jump with Sonic usually will end up causing you to redo the whole stage if you want that special stage. And if you know what you're doing, you can remedy the problem. There we go. That's what I'm about to do the first time. And here we are at the end of the act. Now it's time for the special stage. The special stage in this game is actually pretty hard when you don't know what to do. You gotta collect 300 rings and you get that robot that chases Amy around and Sonic Advance chasing you. If you hit it, you lose like 10 rings. Anyway, you got normal rings and you got these red and black ones which give you 5. Now, if you collect 
uh, rings quickly, then you'll get a multiplier. And that's really the secret behind it. You get that multiplier, it becomes so much easier to get the three three rings. I'll run them pretty horribly, so I'm not used to the game to control it. Alright, I can still win. Alright, get 192. If I can get well over 300 wins, I'll show you the robot. Well, I obviously don't want to get hit. Barely got 300 or something. But yeah, this is pretty much it. You just run around with like rings, try to get your multiplier. It's kind of hard to control, actually. That's why I'm having so much trouble with it. There's a robot, as you can see, which is a bit better than the other. And if you hit it, you can get a burst of speed. I have to tell someone in the bag that all I got to do is not get it. Then you got these little floor panels. Um, as far as I've been able to see, there's only two kinds. One that speeds you up and one that makes you jump. Anyways, I'm going to cut this video here. I hope you like this episode. And if you like my videos, subscribe to them. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Tell your friends about it, and I'll see you next time. Later.